Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to The Sims. I don't remember exactly what's happening. Apparently Super Paul's going to sleep. That's exciting. Sounded like he was farting there. Man, our Christmas tree is looking good as ever. <laughs> I wonder if Santa would still show up if we put cookies out. Where's Bunny suit? What the hell are these things? What is that? Is that some sort of backpack? Why is there a... There's some toy dinosaur... Are those skulls? Why the hell are there skulls on my front lawn? Who did that? If you know, feel free to leave in the... Dis uh, I think I remember somebody bringing something over last episode. That's a little weird and a little creepy that there are skulls that are glowing outside. Did you do that bunny suit? Hopefully that's not any of the dead people. Hopefully it's not like Bob and Snowy Panda. Speaking of the devil, hey Snowy Panda. Not that I'm saying she's the devil. Don't wake me up, I'm sleeping. Go haunt the shower. You used to like to watch people. Now you can watch anyone you want in the shower. Where are you going? We're not even too good to haunt, apparently. She's gonna go haunt the street. What are you doing, bunny suit? Oh, you're cleaning? That's nice. You're in a very shitty mood. I don't know what that was all about. Somebody suggested, oh, I'm sorry, who, whoever, was it NJ? Uh, somebody suggested I get them all an easel. Or would that be under creative, right? Yeah, I thought they had one before. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's set that out. Let's put that out right here. They can, they can paint the help sign. <laughs> You'd think neighbors would come and steal that. At least where I grew up, they would. Why don't you go to sleep, Bunny Sue? I hate to tell you what to do, but go to sleep. Uh, why are you dreaming about tennis? Dream about something cool like football, Super Paul. Robert kind of poached the kid's bed, but whatever. Come on, you've got big adventure. You dream of flowers? That's, that's like an exciting dream. I had a dream about flowers. Oh, Super Paul, you're going to have to go bad. Oh, Snowy Panda woke us all up. Damn you, Snowy Panda. All right. Super Paul, you go take a big old crap. And you go serve breakfast for everybody. I don't know why Robert's looking at the wall. <laughs> Did he punish himself? I was a bad Robert today. Uh, um, I guess he just wants to hang out with Ghost Kitty. How you doing, Ghost Kitty? Oh, she's doing all right. Ghost Kitty needs a little more social, but... I think Dark Pumpkin or someone was mentioning that. Hey, oh, Robert, um, you can go eat. No, don't eat. I'm gonna serve breakfast. Oops, that was supposed to be me. I was on the wrong person. Robert, no, don't eat. No, bad Robert. You go do something else. Go take a shower or something. Yeah, you said you're stinky. Go. Fifino. Come on, Super Paul wants to cook for everybody. We could use a new stove. How much are those? Um, appliances, stoves. Oh, this one's cool. Oh, man, this one would be super cool. Uh, we're going to have to save up some money for that stuff, though. I want to go to vacation eventually, too. Shoot, Robert. I'm making food. Go shower or something. Snowy Panda will watch you if you're feeling lonely. Why doesn't Bob Bobberson come visit us? Is it because he's got the couch there? Is he just like, I'm chilling here in ghost heaven. Ooh, buddy suit. What nice legs you have. She's like, oh, the better to kick you with, my dear. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> this is the cycle of life. Someone makes something to eat, and then someone shits it out. I, sh I feel like I should sing a Disney song now. The circle of poo. Come on, get some food while it's hot, everybody. See, I love y'all, so I made you food. Bunny suit. Robert's using the... Uh, I think everybody would show some respect by now. I should know. I wonder what these skulls do. I like how they kind of cut openings in the top of the head. Maybe I don't like it so they can put candles in. That's a little gross. When I die, please don't open my skull up to shove candles in. Ratoon. Can I pick them up? Oh, they're spooky candles, and I can sell them. 
I don't know how in the world I got them, though. Did I buy? I don't think I bought them. Mm. I probably did. I get confused a lot. Here, you guys just eat a little faster. Mm. Oh, don't start that we don't save thing again. I like how Robert doesn't even come to eat with us. He's just screaming, I love mice! All right, Robert. It's time to get super clean. You know what? Actually, Snow pa Snowy Panda, I think, helped us all up by waking us up. I think I got a new job. Oh, okay. Well, let... Oh. I thought Buddy Suit was going to go poop again. I'm a junior executive. I need some more friends. Not in real life, but in the game. There you go, Super Paul. We'll get your... Uh, Shower and on. Okay, work's gonna happen soon. Yeah, you packed that away, bonus suit. All the tasty food for you. Yeah, Robert, go to uh, work in a good mood. Get a promotion, then we can buy more things. We can go on a fancy vacation. Check you out, Super Paul. You're clean. That's pretty amazing. When's your work get here? Or when's your car get here? When's your work get here? Yep, work just drives up. There you go. Did you go watch some TV. Why don't you invite Bunny Suit to join you? Yeah, come on, join me. Get your butt to work, Robert. Oh, we need a new scratching post soon. What is that? Is that some sort of dinosaur? Our front yard looks terrible. You know what, actually, Robert, go take a crap first. Go to work in a good mood. Yeah, come on, Super Paul. Oh, why don't you and Bunny Suit ever get along? You don't like any of the same things. Except for when she teases you. She's like, I don't like computers. Oh, you don't like computers? Oh, that's the way to get Super Paul to like you. Complain about things, apparently. Oh, Super Paul, you're so happy? That's a good thing. You know what, Bunny Suit? Since we got a little time, why don't we send you to work? Or, let's not work. Let's send you to Magic Land. Yeah, jump into a hole in the ground. That's a good idea. Come on, Bunny Suit, do some evil magic. Maybe you can find out whatever happened to Oral. He's somewhere in military school. Um, where should I go? I think we'll go to Coldwood Meadow. Once a dairy pasture, this quiet meadow was usually avoided by local farmers following the unexplained disappearance of the clear cows. Recently, a carnival blew into town and set up several unusual attractions on this mysterious site. You wouldn't think there'd be a lot of business for a carnival, like, in the middle of nowhere. In an old cow pasture? <laughs> this is a great place. There's cow poop everywhere. People love that shit. Alright, um... I, don't, I haven't even been here. Let's get our. Let's insert a coin. Let me insert it into your coin slot. Want some swords? Give Bunny Suit a sword to cut people with. Tell me my fortune, freaky lady. A mysterious crystal will appear next to your home. Its many facets will reflect your own. You'll find new ways of expressing feeling, as though the new six cards were ready for dealing. Now your fate requires another coin. Okay. Insert another coin. I hope that doesn't ruin what just happened. Hey, Opal. I don't know you. There's more to be made. Oh, that's just, they want more money. There's more to be made with life than what can be written in a book. Secrets abound. And it is said that he who eats of the magic tart will make magic farts. Or drinks of the magical nectar will be named Hector. Has probably figured out how to make a really cool stuff. Um, let's go check out this guy. Yeah, I want to watch his magic show. Oh. Wait, let's perform magic. Fuck him. I mean, don't really fuck him. Dude, go away! I want to do magic. Hi, Opal. I'm going to talk to you while Asshole's doing it. Ignore his show, buddy suit. Ignore him. Yeah, you show him. Yep, show him. That's right. Nobody likes you, crawl. Come all. Fuck off, Kamal. Okay, time to perform Flying Fire. I don't even know what that does. I think this seems like a good idea. <laughs> hey, you're in a new place you've never been? Fuck off, Opal! Fuck off. 
That's what Bunny Suit said when she got in front of her. What? Fuck off, I'll cut you. I'm fucking Bunny Suit. Ta da! It's a plate! And now, we light it on fire. And now, it, it's a chicken. Hey, Duke Velmax. Hey, how you doing, bro? Oh, and then she showed her butt. <laughs> that was a weird way to end it. I got a nine. Is that good? Let's perform sleight of hand. Haha, <laughs> Opal, you don't get to do magic. <laughs> Fuck it. There's nothing in this box. Get away from me, Opal. Now there are balls in my box. My bally box. Ooh, other people want to see what's going on here. Oh, where'd the balls go? They're gone. They've got no balls like you, audience. You're the most no ballness audience I've ever seen. You come back here, Marilyn. You come back here and watch me. Not that other whore over there. I will turn you into a fucking newt if I ever figure out how to. And then check out my butt again. Bunny butt. Perform a hair razor. Oh, the bunny suit better go home soon. Man, I want to spend more time in Magic Town. Fuck you, Opal. We're doing a trick. Oh, it's a teddy bear. Aww. Oh, it's a teddy bear. Well, she tried. Hey, Dark Pumpkin. Oh, somebody came to watch. Yeah, perform the fire one again. How does she know how to do all this? Is there like a magic skill? She's got her wand and she's got... Oh, we got magic coins. Oh, that must be what that number is. We're getting magic coins for doing performances. Live and learn. Lady, I'm playing with fire. Get your fat ass away from here. How many more? I don't know why we get magic coins, but I'll take it. Um, what else is there to do here? Let's talk to the candy man, no? Ooh, there's a bigger stage. I'm gonna do the bigger one. Let's perform Metamorphosis. Hurry up, bunny suit. Go, 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 before some other fat head gets in there. Everybody's gonna hang out by the shitbox. Come on, Dark Pumpkin. Ice Pick. Hey, Ice Pick. You killed people in a live stream. <laughs> a lot of people. I remember that very well. I don't know if I uploaded that to YouTube or not. I think I did. Everybody sit down and perform, or prepare for the amazing magic. Everybody, where, where are you leaving? Bunny Sue's gonna find you all in Dark Pumpkin, no! She's like, ta-da! Everybody left. Metamorphosis. Oh, I hope this goes terrible. Yeah, I hope this goes terrible. Chop her up. Oh! <laughs> that trick was good. I like that trick. Ta-da! Looks like you need practice with your prop. Perhaps you should go home and learn some basic mechanics. That was a good trick. Let's do the segmented woman. Yeah, I know you're tired. Do one more. Do one more bunny suit and then you can go home. See, you're starting to get a crowd. There's TNT. I don't know who Trilla is. Oh, all right. You can go home, bunny suit. Still pretty cool. You're upset. You think the lady who you shoved a sword into would be upset. Bunny suit's like, I've had such a hard day. And she's like, you stabbed me with a fucking cutlass. To stab or get stabbed. Oh, nice beard, gypsy. Cleric. Bunny suit's probably not gonna make it to work, I'm guessing. Bunny suit, quickly, go to work. Yeah, Super Paul, you need to go to work too. Turn off the TV. Turn off the TV. Oh, he looks like a dweeb. He needs a different job. When he gets home, he's looking for a different job. <laughs> he's wearing a suit to work? That's not what I'd be into. I'm wearing like jeans and like flannel. Of course, luckily I get to work from home, but... Go away, Elden! Huh? Nobody likes you. Good job, mate. Oh, we need to get a new scratching post. Welcome home, bunny suit! You better go to home- you better go to sleep or something. 
What happened to the magic candles? Do they only glow at night? Is it a one-time thing? Yeah. Go go to sleep, bunny suit. I'm not gonna tell you. You're your own person. Standing on the sidewalk, grabbing your hips, is not sleeping. Go to bed. Fuck off, cat. There you go. Some neighbor cat's like, no, rub me instead. I gotta see if the... I'm sorry, I do this every episode. Look at all these fucking bodies. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh my god. That's a shitload of bunnies. I wonder why Ghost Kitty, Kitty's probably happy. She's like, yeah, I'm gonna murder more bunnies. Where is she? Oh, sleeping. Robert, you've been promoted to webmaster. Your understanding of what the company has to offer and what the customer is looking... Uh, is, and what the customer is looking for has uniquely suited to creating and maintaining the company's website. Expect late night work to avoid high traffic downtimes and requests from literally everyone in the company for changes and additions to your fine work. I've coded websites before. That's interesting. Uh, you get 200 a day and a bonus of 400. I want a $400 bonus. Super Paul. Oh, poor Robert. He's going to go right back to work now. Now he's got the night shift. You know what, Robert? While you're... Or he does in an hour. Robert, why don't you go make a gnome? Uh, Super Paul, let's see if we can find you another job where you don't have to wear a dumbass suit. Yeah. You don't need to look like... You look like a dweeb enough as it is. Hey, wait. Weren't there supposed to be some other fucking crystals that were going to show up? Did that not happen? You're not, not going to be a psychic friend. Screw that. Oh, shit. I thought the lady said there were going to be some magic crystals that were going to show up. Hey, Ice Pick. Super Paul will say hi to you. Where are my damn ice... Or my damn crystals. Ouch. Yeah, we'll greet him, then we'll have a drink. That's the way to start the day. Nothing like your junior executive. Come home, have a drink. Oh, I ought to call that lady. Oh, what's her name? Virginia? I forgot Super Paul was trying to get with her. Hi, Ice Pick. Make yourself at home. Don't touch the creepy skull candles. Or whatever the fuck this is. Huh? Virginia, oops, my jick is calling your name. <laughs> That's rude and inappropriate. All right, Townie, Virginia. Oh, well, See, Super Paul and her, they kind of like each other. That's why there's a heart. Hey, there's your ride, Super Robert, regular Robert. Poor Robert. He got home from work. He gets an hour of wrestling. He's got to go right back to work. Soon, soon. And he changed from his pimp clothes into his pimp clothes. Super Paul, why don't you have a drink? You don't actually need a drink. Why don't you serve dinner? Ice pick, look, you made a friend. And there's a cat. I don't know why the cat's playing in the fireplace. That probably doesn't bode well. Last thing we need is a flaming cat running around. What are you making, Super Paul? He's like, I'm making super taquitos. I put little capes on them. Mmm, delish. Where you going, Ice Pick? He made a new friend with the cat. <laughs> oh, he wanted to talk to Super Paul. No time, Super or, uh, Ice Pick. You can hang out with the cat if you want. Oh, somebody's got to fill the cat bowl, too. Cat kind of needs food. Although, I actually, the cat could probably survive if... if I don't know if the bunnies help its feed thing. There's so many bunnies out here. It could live for like years. Where's Virginia? Oh, these candles do go on in the night. Oh, there's Virginia. Took long enough. Yeah, go over here, Super Paul. Quit dancing around. Let's greet her with a polite kiss. Wow, they really like the outside. I don't know if it's the magic candles or what. Hey, what's up, Sex Bottom? That's my cute name for her. So, Sex Bottom, let's, uh... No, come inside, you fucking dumbhead. Oh, you just want to eat. I shouldn't have made food. Ghost... Ghost kitties! I'm... Oh, I'm trying to get some! You're not the pussy I'm searching for. Yes, yes, yes. Big, big, big. Not now, Ghost Kitty. Go talk to Ice Pick. I'm trying to hug this lady. 
everybody's getting in the way of my ah! no ghost kitty no no other kitty either i'm gonna give her a gift of a lawn <laughs> Seems like a lame gift. Hey, baby. I got you a lawn gnome. <laughs> Robert made it, but I stole it from him. <laughs> well, she likes it. I don't give you a more intimate hug. Oh, yeah. Let me feel those on me. You like my suit? How about a polite kiss? Oh, fuck you! I'm gonna go eat away my disappointment. You are difficult. You are so hard to get in y'all pants. That's what he mumbles as he walks away. Fine, just go fuck yourself. I invite you to my house. I feed you. I'm gonna go hide behind my shield here. Ice pick, don't steal the woman. I worked really hard on her. Can we actually see what's going on? Ice pick really wants to talk. I'm sorry, Ice pick. I don't mean to be rude. But I'm trying to get with this girl. I've been trying to score with her forever. Yeah, I love mountains and driving in the roads. I like your mountains and your roads. I, I, I'm not good at innuendo. She's like, no, you can't have my roads or my mountains. I want to kick you in the face so hard. That's probably not appropriate date talk, is it? Super Fog will take a dump. You'll feel a lot better. Oh, she just throws the plate on the floor. Oh. Ice Pick, you have permission to punch her in the throat if you want. That's probably inappropriate behavior, but... Super Fog, are you any good at music? No. <laughs> I was going to be like, play the guitar to... I should have had Robert smooth... Word Ro oh, Robert's working his other job. Go away, Bob Newbie. You know, I will greet you, sir. I'm amazed. Maybe you and Ice Pick can become friends or some shit. Okay, Super Paul. There you go. You're done washing your hands. I like how we still have our prison toilet from, like, the beginning. Hello, Mr. Bob Newbie. Welcome to this amazingly awesome house. Even I'm starting to realize this may never become a grand hallway right here. Having to face some facts. Um, ask her to come here. Oh, Bob, Bob, go shut up. Go talk to Ice Pick. Virginia? Oh, Bob, no. Super Paul is like, I want to talk about cars with Bob. Oh, and Ice Pick's making the moves on my lady because he knows how to talk about things she likes. Super Paul, call her over. Virginia, you all please come over here. It's more romantic outside because they like the room. Come hang out with me and this thing at my feet and our skull crystals. That seems cool. Why don't I give you a friendly hug and then let's just talk. Let's talk about interests. I'm going to pretend I care about your day. And I'm going to tickle your wrists. I love balloons, lady balloons, at a part. Oh, come on, why don't you like my song? She's like, I like guitar. Unfortunately, Super Paul doesn't know how to play guitar. Real Paul kinda does. If you saw my music channel, you would disagree probably, but... It's like, I like the drums, I like to have fun. Oh, they're finally hitting it off. Oh, and Bob and Ice Pick are having a good time talking about movies. Oh, apparently Bob ruined that. Ice pick, you can feel free to burn him for all I care. Yeah, we both like music. Yeah, you like that tickling. Would you like to give me a dick tickling? <laughs> Let's talk some more about interests. Oh, Super Paul is like, oh, I'm so sick of working so hard. Can't even get to make out with her. This woman is difficult. She's like, I love you, but... At this point, he's just swinging for the fences. Shoes! Women's shoes! Love that shit! Um, I love the view! <laughs> I love uh, the Notebook movie! Titanic was great! No, don't, don't, don't give her bullshit. Don't lie to her. Oh, that's a great conversation, talking about shoes. Bob likes to watch. He's like, ooh, this is how I get with a lady! Yep, 
class is in the session, Bob. He literally is just staring at her. That's what it looked like. It looked like he was just staring at her. Really? Where are you going, lady? You're gonna go drop a. You gonna go eat more of my food? Bob, I gotta go to bed like now. Bob, I gotta go to bed like now. No, Bob, I don't care. I don't care about your story. Oh, Bob is rude. He's like, I don't want to hear about your sunglasses. Shut up. Well, everybody, thanks for hanging out. Poor Robert's still at work. I'll catch you all next time.